Hello, good day to you. Today, um, continuing my demonstrations about basic open stack administrations. There's like this, like are the tasks you know that <laughs> are done you know by open stack administrator. Uh, today I'll be talking about creation of custom label uh, and uploading an image. So basically, I'll be showing three things: upload an image, create a custom label and uh, create an instance based on that flavor so uh, let's go to the dashboard actually this is the dashboard <coughs> of my open stack um i have to go and get so let's create the image uh, to create the image we go to the image tab the image tab is under your project then under computes under computes then images so I currently have an image here, but let me create another one just to go over the process. So I'll search for OpenStack images or search for OpenStack images. So the OpenStack image that I'm going to use in this demonstration is the Cirrus image. The serious image is very useful for testing and also in environment where you don't have a lot of resources is very useful so i'll give this name um, demo image i'll call it demo image or uh, location so for this um or uh, open stack i can put so if i click you know, click on this question mark it shows me uh, that the location here is should be http url so i'll put the http url that i copied from the open stack dashboard next i'll select the format the format is qcal2 or uh, qcal2 is like the most popular format uh, for images on open stack or uh, i'll make the image public that is it is available for everybody to use and after that i'll create click on create image so the image is being saved so while the image is being saved let us go and create the the flavor so to create a flavor we have to go under the admin admin tab you know the admin tab or uh, then we'll go to flavors so flavor is basically like a template of or the amount of resources that an instance should have so uh, there are some standard flavors you know like m1 tiny m1 small m1 medium m1 large and x large so you see the differences in the ten in the things like the <coughs> virtual cpus the ram or uh, the disk so let's create our own and we'll call it uh, demo flavor demo flavor let's just call it demo flavor and uh, the number of vcpus let's give it two uh, the number of ram the ram is a megabyte so let's use uh, maybe 240 that like two gig ram the root disk let's give it five gigabyte primary disk um let's give it one gig the swap disk or uh, let's give it like 500 megabyte so this is basically you know all we have to supply to create a flavor so on the flavor access you know if you have if you want the if you want to tie the flavor to a particular project we we'll select you know the project from here but in this case the flavor will be available for all projects so let's click on create flavor um yeah so one thing that i forgot to do was the id so because i didn't put the id it generated some random id for me uh, actually you know let me delete this and create it again i want to use some a more meaningful or ID so let's create it again 
uh, demo flavor ID I want let's say 20 that's the ID I want so it's, it's just an it's just an ID so you know rather than having a long ID let me have a short one so let me just quickly fill the rest here one this 500 create flavor so you will see now I have a ID of 20 so the flavor has been created so let's go and launch an instance based on this flavor so we'll go to instances and um, wait for it to load okay finally click on launch instance so instance so let's call it the uh, demo demo server um, our flavor this is where we select our flavor Want to use the demo flavor you see when we selected the flavor or uh, the resources the way you know it's picked up the resources that we defined in the flavor so our uh, image source our image is the demo image access and security uh, we use the code access group it's the default security group um I have a key called demo key, but if the you don't if you don't have a key on your dashboard, you can create a key by following the steps here. Basically, you have to run the SSH key gen command and generate key. Put your public IP or public key here and generate the key. Networking. Uh, here I'll select the int network, which is the private network. The post creation so the post creation is a uh, can be a shell script you know if you want to do some changes make some changes um to your instance on um, creation so this is where this is uh, needed so i'm just going to just write a small shell script so this is a very simple shell script basically so this is going to be executed you know during the Creation of this, this instance. So let's click on launch. So wait. Sometimes I find the dashboard of OpenStack to be kind of slow. Wow, that's my general observation. So it's spawning. Let's wait. So now our instance has been launched. Uh, so if we click on this here yeah, let's let's console into it so to console into the instance we have to go to console um i will try to let me open the console see i will open the console on a new terminal so i think the the uh, the instance is still booting basically but Okay, I think that's fine. So, but I'm mean, just to show you that you can console into the instance. So, <clears throat> these are like the logs of what's happened when the instance was coming up. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> if you encounter any problem, you can come and look at the logs you know to see you know what is going on so for example you see some errors but not all the errors and the failures here are going to be fatal so and if you want to see even more logs you click on the view full log so basically that's what i want to show in this demonstration creating the flavor uploading an image and uh, launching an instance based on the image so i will have waited you know for this to finish coming up but i 
I don't want the video to be too long, so that's why. Uh, if you have any comments, let me know. So, all right. I will stop the video now. Take care, bye.